immigrants. Uh, I'm not an immigrant. I'm not a migrant. And neither are my parents. That's it. Any immigrants I know are uh, hard workers, have uh, immense energy. Put us to shame, really. Um, I've lived in Poland and Italy and Spain. I lived in England, so maybe Scotland might leave, so I might end up being an immigrant. Uh, have been. Oh no, but I'm not an immigrant. I just passed through. You know, I was just passing through. All the British people, they said, oh, wow, I'm not an immigrant. I'm an expat. And they're in Australia and whatnot. <sighs> Don't know what an immigrant is, really. I mean, great grandparents, maybe they're immigrants. Yeah. My mum's uh, Irish. My dad's Italian. He's never left Italy, although he has lived in 10 different countries. Um, I went to Italy to try and uh, earn some money. Didn't intend to stay. Wouldn't have minded. Wouldn't have minded staying. Um, didn't work out, came back, same thing in Poland, uh, but I had the freedom, that's it, that's it. I had the freedom to move there. Uh, Spain too, I got my residence in Spain, just a summer job, but I used to go back often, and I got caught up in this volcanic ash thing, just couldn't be bothered packing my bags all the time. Um, unintentional moving around for work uh, if you're young and you've got somewhere to go back to with your tail between your legs it's different um, how many how many immigrants have done that oh but they weren't immigrants they were just like moving around uh, when do you decide to up sticks and properly settle down uh, it's like a process, you know, it's, it's just, um, who knows, man, what, what are immigrants? What are migrants? Okay, so economic migrants, they're, they're a thing. Suppose I was an economic migrant. Okay, maybe that's why I was. That's maybe what my parents were. They met in Germany. They were working and so uh, moving around. So that's maybe what, what they were, economic migrants. But am I? An economic migrant. Well, I don't feel like I'm an, I'm an immigrant. Immigrant. I don't feel like a migrant. Um, when I was uh, in my fourth month of living in Italy, I was 25, and according to martial law, I just exceeded it. And I was supposed to present myself to the police. I've been here for over three months. Take me away. Um, but they were just about to announce that the military thing was going to be scrapped. So I got away with it, but I was, uh, I was terrified. I was in a small restaurant and I was sharing it with this Albanian guy who was an illegal immigrant. And we were both, uh, if someone was to take us and denounce us, we would have both been uh, sent down, man. So... Fortunately, they passed the law, and then the Albanians, they, they joined the European Union, didn't they? There's 27, isn't there? 27 member states. And then everyone else outside of Europe, you know, they're uh, um, in European colonialism. What did that create? It's just a total mess. So, yeah, all those guys, but they were British. You know, if you're Jamaican, uh, you're British. Except, no, no you're not, because you're part of this uh, generation. And uh, some of these other guys get caught up, even Italians in factories in northern England. They were brought over on a temporary work permit. So you stayed. You caught up in the system. You're no longer... British person, they're asking you to go 
back. I can't go back, you know, uh, this is where I live. So I did, Was I was asked, do you want to give up your British citizenship when I was 17? Of dual nationality. And uh, my God, what if I'd given it up? Who does that? I didn't, but I wanted to keep my Italian citizenship, but I didn't want to do military service, so I had to follow the rules. I've got a son now. Do I give him my Italian, I pass it on? Probably not, there's no point. Um, I have to stand in a different line to him if we go to Italy. If I keep my Italian citizenship, uh, it's all getting confused. It's it's not even about immigration anymore. It's about nationality. Uh, what what union? Uh, what country? Uh, so it's inevitable, I think. Uh, but we're, we're on course to being very insular. Uh, and most people I know, they for, forget air travel. They're now travelling. They're travelling to Europe. Just get in your car and go. I think it's thir uh, three months. You get three months on the road. So they, they, these guys are going to be doing what I did and um, ducking the authorities to stay for more than three months. What if your car breaks down? That's you. You're an illegal immigrant. All these guys running about Europe um, trying to get their score to work. Oh, it's this. Uh, Russian engineering, and now I've been now I'm an illegal immigrant because I can't get this car started. And I've been here for more than three months, so yeah, because they'll stamp you when you come in. They're warned.